good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time it is where you are it's a good time to be joining me here on my youtube channel hi my name is joe and today we're doing a video on fall trends i'm gonna give you guys 10 fall trends for 2023 of course there are way more but we're gonna keep it to 10. i've come up with these 10 from looking at some vogue articles in style and then just using my eyeballs so seeing what's out there for consumers to purchase what's on runways what's in trending tiktoks things like that so if you are interested in that keep on watching i've got my handy dandy ipad here where i have my 10 to keep me on track i'll be talking about things and putting up examples on the screen all right first thing is the monochromatic look now this isn't groundbreaking it's been a, it's been a thing for a while but i'm letting you know it's still in it's still trendy and cute while still being timeless so you know you can put your own spin and style on this one of my favorite monochromatic looks like i don't know of all time is from adele when she's courtside at a basketball game 10 out of 10 like that is what i aspire to be so yes girl obviously monochromatic look can be done with any style as spot on or as tonal as you want it to be you don't have to have an exact matchy matchy kind of thing but this is super in for 2023. I think the monochromatic look is something that's easy to incorporate into your wardrobe and you can probably do it with pieces that you have now and interchange those pieces with new pieces that you might buy in the future. I know it's something that I gravitate towards, especially for work, mm, love it. Next trend is a jewelry trend and it's cuffs, like cuff bracelets or bangles. I've been seeing those a lot lately. Um, a YouTuber that I am subscribed to, Cassie Thorpe, has like this big Tiffany cup, cup, Tiffany cuff that she loves. They do it in like a white, silver, and a gold. YSL has a cuff that they came out with and you know a couple of other places that I've seen so that seems to be like a little trend that's happening and if you're into that or bangles I know people are doing like the Cartier stacks and things like that if you want to do something a little different you can go with a cuff. Um, next number three scarf dressing I believe is what Vogue called it so whether you're just wearing a scarf or your entire ensemble resembles a scarf, you can participate in the trend. I believe it's Lenny Kravitz that had that like blanket essentially <laughs> wrapped around him. If I can find the picture, I'll put it up, but ahead of his time. Now people are walking down the runway looking like that. So you go Lenny. Number four is like a peplum or just like a nipped in at the waist kind of shirt i know peplum has been out for a while but it's coming back in and you can dip your toe into that with either like a slight peplum or something super dramatic up to you i think the more fitted tailored kind of blazer is replacing the trend of the oversized blazer that we have been seeing in the previous years what are we on number five red red is a big color for fall 2023 and whether that's that really bright red or more muted kind of burgundy we are seeing red come down the runway of course you can always mix and match with these trends we've seen the monochromatic red looks that are stunning but could also be too much for you or the particular occasion that you're dressing for so if you just want to do a pop of red with a bag that's something super easy to do um next trend which i love off the shoulder is popular again this season and i know it is false and they are doing like off the shoulder sweaters that are super cute so you can easily dip your toe into that number trend. seven on the list is like bust couplets i know corsets and corset styles have been trending a lot but we've slightly tweaked it and gone to like interesting cups or like cutouts with your 
corset that I've really been loving. You can see this place is like um, pretty little thing, but also more elevated brands. So I'll put some examples here. Super on par with the weather and weather appropriate, we have sweater dresses. Sweater dresses are a staple in some people's wardrobe, but they are, you know, trending and being seen going down the runway this year from um, Loewe and a couple of other brands. I have some examples of super cute and we're seeing both fitted and a more relaxed look. So you can choose which one is more comfortable for you. Coming in at number nine, metallics. And I have a little bit of metallic going on with my nails, but I'm not gonna show you up close because I need them right now. But metallics are very big, especially silver with the Renaissance store from Miss Beyonce. Everyone was reaching for their silver to attend the concert and that's definitely made the color more trendy, but people are also gravitating towards metallic golds and bronzes and coppers as well. Um, really having a big moment. Coach recently dropped like a metallic line or collection, I should call it a metallic collection, where they have a couple of bags, some shoes, and uh, I want to say some ready to wear. I feel like they're just mm, ever so slightly behind because if they had dropped this like towards the beginning of the Renaissance store, mm, would have been sold out. Um, but yeah, they do have some cute options. And from what I hear, the shoes are comfortable and I am thinking about getting them. Last but not least, we have mismatched earrings. Um, several brands have been doing this from Fendi to Givenchy. Um, I think it goes right along with this trend or tendency, I guess we'll call it, for brands to be selling a singular earring, which is crazy to me, but they're doing it. But yeah, both in pairs and bought separately, this like mismatch earring is trending. And you know, I could, I could, I could get into that. Um, I'm gonna have some examples of one, if you're like, you know, part of the beehive, I thought this was cute. Um, Coach is dabbling in it as well. But yeah, you can see this from Amazon to your luxury brands. All the trends that I have mentioned today are totally trends that I would participate in. So maybe my list is a little biased, but you know, I thought I'd share what I've been seeing out there. Let me know which of these trends that you would participate in and what other trends you are looking forward to or totally detesting right now. Leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hope you have a great day, okay, thanks.